Welcome collectors, it's transport series time once again. Today I'll be reviewing the Kenworth T880 SBFA 40 inch sleeper Tritum tractor with 40 dry goods C container. Now as you can see on the box, uh, it doesn't appear that uh, this is a Tritum truck. As a matter of fact, it just looks like it's a tandem truck. So that appears to be a little bit of a typo. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. The item number is 71068. On the back, you have the other trucks in the initial release of these Kenworth tractor and trailer combinations, the newest addition to the Diecast Masters Transport Series. And over here, you have a little bit of the features with the container and the truck, as well as... The engine that's associated with this, which is a Packard MX-13 and 12.9 liter, 380 to 500 horsepower, 1450 to 1850 pound-feet of torque, 2200 RPM governed speed with a five-piece metanin sloped vocational hood. And yes, this is a registered trademark of Packard Incorporated. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this again. If you are just joining us for the first time, first, welcome. Second, this is how you unbox one of these. You see this little hole? This is a finger hole. And you just reach in and pull out the first box. And inside, the first thing to pull out is the Diecast Masters Transport Series catalog, which has all of the up-to-date trucks that are currently in the lineup. Now, if you're watching this video in 2020, again, these are the first of the Transport Series to hit in 2020, these Kenworth trucks. But stay tuned, later on in the year, there's going to be another OEM coming from the Transport Series that has already been announced. And I'm here to tell you that it is Peterbilt, if you have not heard the news, so very excited about that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look inside. So, first things first. You have your tandem axle truck in black metallic paint which looks gosh that looks amazing i hope that that is turning up well on whatever streaming or viewing device you are using i am trying to get the camera here to give it its due diligence if you are a fan of black trucks uh make sure to get your pre-order in from one of the authorized diecast masters distributors um Man, this is... Wow. All right. I could gawk at that all day. Let's continue. Here is the TEX shipping container. This is a, as the description said, this is a 40-foot container. And I will post a link at the end of this video uh, for those of you guys that have not already seen it. But Diecast Masters released a bunch of different shipping containers in a bunch of different livery and company colors uh, towards the end of 2019. And they all are compatible with the trailer that's in this set. Um, and they also stack on top of each other, just like you would see in Long Beach, for example, or any other uh, really international shipping port. So they definitely look great together. All right, and on the second layer, you have the three-axle shipping container trailer. All right, let's get to work. I'm having a hard time getting over that paint job of that truck. That is just... Man. All right. Let's put the trailer connected to the fifth wheel on the truck. And we will put the container... You see these four little hooks here? So very similar to, uh, again, Diecast Masters does a great job. This is very similar to how you would see it in a shipping yard. You'd have either, you know, the, the, the container forklift or container large crane. You'd take it off a ship. It would move on to this. You'd have a little bit of swaying here, obviously, with an inexperienced union-paid operator. Gotta love our union workers. I do, anyway. And it would lock over these just like that. And as you can see on the trailer, it fits over the holes. No problem. And then you would truck it away to wherever you're going. On the back of the trailer, or sorry, back of the container, rather, again, you have 
bring it up a little bit closer to the camera and let it focus. Focus camera. Maybe, maybe not. All right, well, the text says Max Gross, tear Max Cargo CU cap. So just a little bit of the texturing there, a uh, little text on there. And I believe that these doors do open. Yes, they do. And there you can see as they swing all the way to the side. So if you have, uh, you know, like the, the Diecast Masters skid steers with the forks on it, or even the really the wheel loaders with this size with the forks on it, you can uh, have one of the cat wheel loaders loading or unloading the container, and you have yourself a nice little diorama there. The container is durable plastic. The chassis of the truck is die cast, obviously, and the main truck is die cast, of course. All right, so let's show you underneath the trailer. So you can see what that looks like. Oops. See what that looks like. It does feature two deployable landing legs, which you can fold down if you just want to pose the trailer by itself and not hooked up to a truck. I'll demonstrate that real quick. There you go. Let's go ahead and take the container off. All right. Now, onward with this beautiful, beautiful truck. Let's add some smokestacks to it, shall we? So currently, as I am filming this, the and and this is this is very similar to what DM or Diecast Masters has done uh, in the past when they've released these transport series trucks. They you can only get the certain color variations in certain sets. So, for example, if you wanted this style of truck, uh, you, this black truck, for example, this black uh, T880, you can only get it in the shipping container set as of now. It is not sold by itself. All right, so let's add these two smokestacks to it. They're two different uh, length that are included. And again, there you can see there, it's just height. There's no, they're they're both curved pipes. There's no curved or straight pipes that we've seen with other ones. Although I'm sure that they probably the the pipes that are with the Western Stars or the Internationals, I'm sure they would probably fit in these holes. So somebody might want to try that out. So for example, if you like the straight pipes that are not included. Uh, with these sets, but are included with the internationals, perhaps they will fit. Okay, so now that the truck has some exhaust stacks on it, let's take a look at its features. So it does have the same style fifth wheel that all of the trucks have, so that means it will slide forward, it will slide to the rear. Right now it's kind of in the middle position right here. The doors do open both the driver's door and the passenger door. Now, if you look through the back window of the sleeper cab, you can see a bed, a blue bed. If I can get this to hit the light just perfectly, there we go. You can see a blue bed right in the back of the sleeper. How cool is that detail? Your engine cover does open, and you can see the Packard name right on top of the engine there, along with some other detailed components. Taking a look underneath the truck, so you can see the, its components there, including working steering. So... There you have it, collectors. Again, this is the Diecast Masters Kenworth T880 with the shipping container trailer and the 40-foot shipping container. As I said before, you can put any of the Diecast Masters shipping containers, any of the 40-foot ones anyway, on this trailer. They will fit. So again, look at your screen right now. I will post a suggested link of a video review I did on those. So you, if you haven't seen it, you can see all of those 
uh, current offering. I know there's a China shipping one. Uh, there's a couple different Maersk ones. There's quite a few that are out there. But if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments section below. Overall, definitely think that this is a fantastic truck. Uh, if for nothing else, definitely uh, the paint job for sure sends this truck just through the roof. That black metallic flake uh, is, is just absolutely incredible. So thank you guys once again for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos because we have a lot of great Diecast Masters products review that have already been filmed and a few more that are coming. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next video.